Hello, 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 everyone. Hope you're doing well, and thank you for joining on the Blue Cloud, listening to drama or movie recommendations. This time, today, it's not about dramas, but about the Thai movies which are released on Netflix. Let's go. Number one, In Human Kiss or Sankrasa, it's a horror, drama, and romantic movie released in 2019. Starring Op Omniti and Mini Pantera, directed by Dom City Seri, who is one of the directors of a series Girl from Nowhere. First of all, I personally loved this horror show, but I must say, I tend to prefer when it's mixed with comedy elements, but in Thai horror movies in general, um, are able to convey. But this time, in Inhuman Kiss, it's a bit different, it's more serious, it's a bit more serious, and it's not a comedy, a comedy romantic, but there's some drama and a heart-wrenching story. So the plot is about a teenage girl named Sai, who's discovered she's been cursed, and at night, she became a cursor, a spirit who has only its head detached from its body with the internal organs and craved only for nasty things such as internal organs or of animals and fresh blood. At the same time, the villagers are so scared when they discovered someone or something has eaten their livestock, so they began to hunt the cluster, but at the moment a childhood friend appeared named Noi who's going to protect her at all costs. Number 2. Tootsies and the Fake It's a comedy movie Released in 2019, so the same year, directed by Titan Kitty Park. If someone has seen the series The Diary of Two Seas, then it's not new because the French gang has come back. So it's composed of Gat, played by Pet Pao Pet, Goff, played by Ping Pong Tong Chai, Kim, played by De Ratanan, and Nati, played by Pik Patarasaya. And they come back with another hilarious story. So Gorf is a makeup artist and one day he has the opportunity to put some makeup on his favorite actress, a top star celebrity named Kathy, played by Shampoo Araya. But accidentally Gorf, Gorf causes the actress to end up unconscious. And it's a big accident because in one week she has to shoot a TV commercial. Because of this mishap, Goff and his gang face a 50 million bad lawsuit. So to prevent that, they decided to search another person who looks like her. And her name is Nam. She's a street food hawker, but her personality is the opposite of the real one. She cursed and she's not polite with others. But she's the only solution, so with her, the group has to do a makeover. It's really, really ridiculous, but at the same time, entertaining. Number 3, Fast and Feel Love, released in 2022, directed by Te Nawapon, starring Nat Kicharit as Kao and Yaya Yurasaya as Che. So the plot is... Gao is a professional staking player and he's been with his girlfriend Jay about 10 years. They met in high school, they were classmates, but I don't want to talk about in details their relationship, it's more about their personality. So Gao is really into his sport, uh, he's like, everything is about his staking game, while Jay who didn't play this kind of sport, but she's tried to but she still tried to understand him and to support him. She's really a very very nice person and girlfriend to him. She's so considerate. But one day, as time goes by, it slowly changes and it's like a learning process for Kao because in life it's good to have some dream or goal but playing staking is not the only thing. Number 4. The Lost Lotteries It's released in 2022. It's a comedy movie directed by Proxa Maruji, starring Sky Bongurawi as Te, Mini Pantera as Beat, Padna Papa as Zui, 
Jess Chuncheon as Wen and Song Chi Chong Cho as Kung. Over the story, it's about our main character named Dae who lies with his mom and they sell tickets lottery in the streets. And one day, um, I don't know if it's the same day, but he lost all tickets after being assaulted by the mafia, the creditors, I think. Or maybe the mafia, I don't really, I don't remember. Even strangers who have bought the ticket went to their house to reclaim the price. But after knowing they lost them, they decided to give up to steal back the winning tickets from the mafia. It's going to be really funny and entertaining. The last one is Happy All Year. Released in 2019, directed by Ted Nawapon, so the same director as the as the other movie that I, that I mentioned earlier, so kind of slice of life genre, starring Okbeb Chutimon as Jin, Mi Tirawat as her younger brother, Um Apaseri as the mom. The story is, it's about Jin, who is an interior designer, and she wants to renovate her whole house, and by that, to throw away her, to her useful objects. But through each one, it reminds her of a past and sometimes it's kind of hard to throw things or memories easily. In addition, she will be facing family problems but also her past relationship. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for staying here until the end and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.